Greetings and aloha from Everyday Dish TV. My name is Brian Igarta and I'm the author of the Maui Vegetarian Cookbook. And today we're going to be demonstrating to you our artichoke dip. This is a fast and easy dip that's really good and healthy for you. First we're going to start off with some olive oil in the pan. Get it nice and hot. And then to this we'll be adding onions and red bell pepper. Red bell peppers are really good for you if you're eating raw. It's the highest form of uh, vitamin C in the plant world. And we know we all need vitamin C. It's really good for pulling out heavy metals out of your body. So we'll be using some of that. We'll be using green chilies. And what we're trying to do is just caramelize all the vegetables. Okay, we kind of got the vegetables right where we wanted, we're kind of getting nice and soft. You can see the onions are turning brown. At this point, we can add our artichoke hearts. And artichokes are really good for a liver, liver cleansing. And we just top those, toss those around. And we'll just leave, leave this here on really low simmer just to drain out and reduce out all the liquids. And we're going to come and jump right to our Vitamix here where we'll be doing the sauce. This is a cashew cream sauce, which will be our base for our dip. We're using cashews, whole cashews, and lots of garlic. And some hot water. And at this point, what we're gonna do is just try to make the sauce really smooth by blending all the almonds in a little amount of water at this point. Now we can see that, now we can see that the sauce is smooth. We can add our rest of ingredients, which would be lemon juice, Bragg's amino acids, nutritional yeast, and some salt to taste. And we'll be adding a little bit more water. And now some olive oil to tighten it up. And then give it a final blend. Now it's done. We'll just add this right to our artichokes. You can bring it back to high fire. Okay, now all we need to do at this point is just get it all tightened up and adjust for the flavor. As you can see, everything is coming together very nicely. We'll adjust for salt. Perfect. And if you wanted to do a variation for this and you wanted a little bit more spice or heat, you can add uh, fresh jalapenos or cayenne or whatever your fancy may be. And this is just about done. We will remove it into a casserole. Just like so. And then sprinkle with a little paprika, a little paprika. And then into the broiler we go. And then what we're just trying to do here is just 
brown off the top, make a little gratin color on it, and then we're done. Okay, now we can see it's kind of getting some action in here and take a look at it. It's been going for 350 for quite some time on broil. And we're looking for a nice gratin color on top, which is what we have now. And you can see the sides are starting to bubble, so we're in good business now. So the best thing to do at this point is to give it a sample. And be careful, it's hot. Mm. This is a really good dish. We always take this to our book signings and everybody just loves it. The place to find the recipe is at everydaydish.tv or our website, the Maui Veg. I would encourage everybody to make it. It's really good and really fast. So, aloha.